اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In this session, we are going to use Smart PLS for covariance based SCM. Now we all know that Smart PLS is used for variance based SCM models. However, now with the new update, Smart PLS can also be used for covariance based SCM models that we previously used to do in AMOS, LISRAL, M+, LAVAN. Now Smart PLS 4 has the functionality to perform covariance based SCM. Now, first of all, if you want to get Smart PLS, uh, the good thing is it's free for 30 days. You do not require any credit card, any input. Just download it, register, and you can simply get hold of Smart PLS. So once you download, let's say I click on download. Now I download Windows or Macintosh. So you get your Windows. Once you download it, choose Workspace. So it will ask you to choose Workspace. Now, once it asks you to choose the workspace, choose an empty folder. Now, go to Smart PLS, click Switch License and select the trial. So, once you click trial, it will ask you for some details and you will have the key in your email. Once you register, you will have Smart PLS for use for 30 days. Now, how do I use Smart PLS for CBSCM or Covariance Based SCM Structural Equation Modeling? Now to do so, what we have here is we have got PLS SCM, regression model, process models or CBSCM. Now in previous session, we have used these three and the videos are available on the channel. The link will be shared in the description as well. Now in this case, today I am interested in doing a CBSCM model. Now I plan to design a complete series on how to perform covariance based structural equation modeling using Smart PLS. So please watch Subscribe to the channel if you are interested in learning CBSCM using Smart PLS 4. Soon I'll start uploading other videos after editing. Now, in order to do our first model, let's click on CBSCM and let's do CBM, CBSCM model and we need a project. Now again, first thing you need to create a project. So let's create a project. First CBSCM, create. Now here it is. Now import the data file. Let's see, I've got data. Let's assume this is my data. Now here is my data set. Let's click import. And now let's create model. Go back. Just, it's it's always a good idea to check the minimum, maximum skewness kurtosis. Now in this case, since it's CBSCM, one of the assumption is to check for skewness and kurtosis. Now we are going to talk about all these assumptions in detail in our series but for now just quickly see what we get create model and to the model type cbscm and let's say my first model save and this is the canvas now i'm going to draw a measurement model let's say i've got collaborative culture here and then I've got another variable, organizational performance. Let's put it in here. Now what I'm going to do is, let's move the indicators here. These ones here as well. Move this here. Now, nothing else. What you're going to do is, you're going to draw correlation. Move it here. That's it. So this is our basic measurement model using CBSCM. Now what I'm going to do is let's go to calculate basic CBSCM algorithm. Now for now, I'm just going to go with the defaults, nothing else, just press start. And here are your results. This is the correlation, the loadings here. Now look at this standardized now these are unstandardized let's look at the standardized ones all good now let's go for outer loadings here are your outer loadings here it is standard error t values p values and these are unstandardized so you can get standardized here now if you go here let's look at model fit so here are your model fit details RMSCA, well, quite high. SRMR is fine. Well, we are going to look into all these details as well. 
So construct reliability and validity. Well, it's valid. CR is fine. Cron batch alpha is low. Discriminant validity. Well, it's for and locker. Yeah, looks fine. Look at HDMT. It's fine as well. So this is a very basic measurement model using smart PLS. Now let's say I want to change this model and look at the impact of CC on OP. So what I'm going to do is what what I, normally I prefer is just create a copy of it. Right click. Let's say duplicate and let's call it structural model create. Let's click here, delete it. And now I'm looking at the impact of CC on OP. Now automatically the error term is added. Click here. That's it. Or you can move this one here as well if you want. That's it. Now simple. Go to calculate basic CBSCM algorithm. For now just defaults. Press start. And look at the path coefficients. Here it is. Significant impact of CC on OP. Now again the model fit. SRMR is good. Well the rest of is this one is good. This is poor, acceptable. So we are going to discuss all these things in detail in coming lectures in the whole series. So this is how you can do your first model in Smart PLS if you want to perform covariance based SCM. Stay tuned for the whole series. Thank you very much.